Nobody likes seeing rundown vacant homes. The Trumbull Neighborhood Partnership has been ridding the county of blight by tearing them down, and tomorrow it's scheduled to take down a few more. One of them, subject of many complaints. 27 First News reporter Nadine Grimley joins us from outside that home in Warren. One of the city's biggest eyesores is slated for demolition, and it just happens to be a huge milestone for the Trumbull Neighborhood Partnership. Ask anyone on Hamilton Street, and they'll all say the same thing about 1478, or what's left of it. It looks so bad in this neighborhood. It's been almost three years since it caught fire, not once, but twice. And ever since, it's become a dumping ground for old couches, empty propane containers, abandoned stuffed animals, and trash. That's why Councilwoman Cheryl Saffold has been trying just as long to get it demolished. It's obvious to everyone that it is a danger to the neighborhood, an attractive nuisance um, as well. But up until two weeks ago, TNP couldn't touch it. We haven't been able to bring it into the land bank for back taxes for most of that three years, for some reason, the tax delinquency did not exist. But now they have it, and tomorrow it's scheduled to come down. Oh, my God. Thank God. I ain't even going to lie. Thank God, because I can't do it no more. I can't. And when it does, it'll be the 300th abandoned home TNP has gotten rid of. As it happens, our 300th demolition is our best or worst, depending on how you look at it. Uh, this is the most terrible property we've ever torn down. Now 300 may seem like a lot, but Matt Martin says they're just getting started. They plan to keep fighting blight in the city and throughout Trumbull County by tearing down more homes that can't be repaired. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.